Hey there, this is Marty with Digital Design Tips. And today I'm going to show you how to divide objects in Illustrator. Let's start here with a circle and remove that over here. And we're going to duplicate it or copy and paste. And I'm just going to color it real quick so it's not the same. Now, we have these two circles here. Let's say I wanted to combine them so I just have the two overlapping pieces, which is a difficult thing to do if you don't know what to look for. We're going to look for the Pathfinder palette under Window. And what you want to do, select them all. And if we want that centerpiece, we're going to hit Divide. It's right here. And now they are now three separate objects but you're going to have to go up to object and ungroup them and it's pretty cool check this out we got rid of that so now we have two objects here and we've divided it I'm going to hit command Z and undo that a couple times here and show you some other tricks you can use with this real quick let's say you wanted to just simply combine them so they're not two anymore just one object kind of like an eight you would just go like that. That one is called Unite. And boom, you've got two uh, into one. That's another hard thing to do. I'm going to undo that. And let me show you a couple other just uses for this trick. Um, let's say I'm going to type out a D. Make it big. And in order for this to work, I'm going to have to create outlines because it won't do it with type. Now I've got a D in a circle and I want to knock that D out of the circle. Select them all. Now I can hit, there's another one here, minus front, which would just remove whatever object is in front. That would work like this. So now I just have the D and you can see if I was to put something behind it, I'm going to go ahead and use some shortcuts here and make that black. You can see that I have removed the D. Now I'm going to undo a couple more and I want to show you this as well. In this case, if I was to use divide, which is my favorite because it gives you more options to work with down the road, I hit divide. Now I've got all three again. Well, You'll see what I mean by three in a second here. After I ungroup it, I have, this is now its own thing. So I can delete the D and I can potentially make that black if I wanted to. Now I have two. If I wanted to combine those, or at least temporarily combine them, you group them and you can ungroup them later. That's what I meant by temporary. And that's how you divide some objects in Illustrator. Uh, the more you mess around with the Pathfinder palette, the more fun Illustrator gets because that's kind of a game changer. Anyways, uh, hopefully you subscribe on YouTube and check out our blog at digitaldesigntips.com.